Hey, and welcome back to Forward Adventures. Matess here. And today we're going to be talking about how I actually do the folding for all of the clothing to fit in our tiny little drawers that we've got in the camper trailer so that you can see it all really easy, maximize the shelf, sorry, drawer space that we have um, and be able to easily identify what you've got in there and the kids can rifle through the drawer and husbands um, without just taking the one on the top and being able to close the drawer at the end of it as well. So I'll take you through ways of folding the undies that we've got. Kids undies, big undies, kids t-shirts size two, three, are little tiny things but you still want to get them all really flat. Um, Adult shirts, that's the way they usually come in stores. Oh, I fold it even tinier than that. And then short skirts, pants, they get rolled up into a log as wide as the drawer. Let's have a look. And now that I've just touched it and reminded myself, I don't have a rabbit tucked down my top. It's a little bit windy out here. So yes, it looks funny, but you'll be able to hear me a lot better with this. So here we go. Starting with little undies. I fold these up really tight, literally, so they can take up the smallest amount of room. Um, because imagine seven pairs of undies all screwed up like that. He's just gonna throw them out of the drawer if he doesn't like to wear the octonaut ones today. So I actually learnt this in the most expensive laundry that we went to in Europe when we were backpacking around the world. It was 36 euros for one lot of laundry and that was in Mykonos. Did you see that? I did it really slowly for you. So, side, side, bottom, up and tuck it into there. Done. The big one is exactly the same. This works for G-strings too, granny undies, all of it. Um, flat, I'm doing it upside down now. I don't normally do it this way, but side in, side in, bottom up, and tuck it into the waistband. Got a nice little envelope, done. T-shirts, kids' T-shirts. This works really well at home too, um, when you've got normal sized drawers. So flatten it out so you get most of the creases out because I can't even remember the last time I did any ironing. I'm doing it a lot more gently than I usually do it roughly sitting on my bed, but there you go that way. Adult t-shirts. And I'm not precious about this at all because who's got time to deal with washing when you really just want to be outside having fun. Again, pull as many of the creases as you can be bothered out. Left side up, right side in, bottom up. That's your usual shop fold. Another one in and then in half. Done. And pants. He's got such big pants, doesn't he? Anyway, so one side in, that way in, and luckily my drawers are about this width too. Um, I found going against the fold works really well. Roll, 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 roll. Squish it down really tight and done. I'll show you in a sec how I get them into the drawer too. So now that I've done a week's worth of folding, 
time to get them in the drawers. And the easiest way to do that, shove it over to the edge, put them all in at the same time, and push them in really hard. No, just gently, gently place them in. <laughs> Onions go in there, socks are all aligned, and our tightly rolled up pants might have to roll it up again. Sits on top there. So, hubby gets to see what he's got. Singlets are all in one area, t-shirts are outside, jocks shoved into that corner, and you can easily put them back in. Kids, here we are. Two t-shirts, push everything up and see how they can easily identify which cartoon characters they want to wear that day. Short, push them up to the side, undies. Just tuck them in the middle there. So he's got his jumper at the back, socks in the corner, one side full of shorts, one side full of t-shirts. And hopefully, after he's picked his clothing for the day, it doesn't look like a big mess. Off to the pool now. Bye.